Hi guys, welcome to Basement Supercar Build, the channel where we see if an average guy like me can design and build his own mid-engine car. This video will be a highlights video of the work that was finished this week. If you want to see the actual work take place, watch the full length video for this week. And with that out of the way, let's get started on this week's video. So I've made these two fixtures, uh, weld fixtures for the front end of the car. And I have them attached. They work very similar to the ones that I did on the rear of the car. They're located in between the lower tubes, sitting on top of the lower tubes. They are fastened. Let's see it there. Screwed down, fastened to the table, holds everything in place. The top of the fixtures is notched. So the upper tubes set in place, they are clamped up and down and they will be ratchet strapped to pull them inward against the fixtures, hold everything in perfect alignment for welding. I have this tube setting in place, getting ready to weld. The problem is I have run out of this wall thickness of tubing. I am missing one piece of tubing for this size. The tubing is ordered, it will be here in two more days. I will stop welding on this component or working on this component for right now and move on to something else. I have some tubing I need to add and some tubing and some braces for the frame that we welded previously. I have to add two vertical tubes, one on each of these front posts. I need to cut some caps to cap off this lower tubing, the cap will overlap this upper tubing maybe a quarter to a half of an inch and weld in all of that will be one big strong weld joint. And then I have to cut and weld on some uh, gussets for strength here in this area. And I guess that's what we're going to do now. We're going to make these end caps and we're going to make these gussets. So let's get busy doing that. Okay, just finished making some of our plates here. I've got these two end plates that'll weld cap off the ends of the tubes. And I've made the two splice plates here. These will weld on and go over the outside joint of these two tubes just for strength. This uh, vertical tube needs to be as strong as possible. It's where the front end ties onto the car. It is where the roll cage attaches to the top of this vertical tube. And most likely the door, however it is hinged when we get to that point, will be hinged onto this tube somewhere, somehow. Um, it is very possible if the door winds up being further back and shorter, there'll be another tube welded on here that the door hinge will attach to, but uh, just not sure at that point. But this is where we're at, and we'll move on to something else. So I'm still waiting on a shipment of tubing to come in. The tubing should be here tomorrow, uh, most of it anyway. I think some of it's going to be delayed. But until it comes in, I'm kind of at a stopping point on the front end. I um, need the tubing to continue. So I think I'm going to go ahead and work on the rear part of the frame and start attaching these pieces. Here's I'm going to try to move this frame up here, possibly on the end of the table if there is room enough, and start welding. Um, if it won't fit on the table, then I may set it up somehow here in the floor and weld on it. But um, let's get started and see how it works out. couple of quick updates. I got the front pieces here welded on to the frame. These vertical tubes, the splice plates, the front caps here are welded on. There will be another splice plate on the inside once I get the front attached to the car and I see exactly where the splice plates need to go but they're done for both sides. And also, 
UPS came through today and delivered all the metal I was waiting on and nothing was delayed everything came in on time some small pieces here on top and I've got to start cutting these steel pieces down to size they're going to be cut down to a lot smaller pieces and this is what the uh, suspension parts will attach to but since the tubing is here Let's get back to working on the front of the car.